welcome to the project demonstration of automatic braking system in four wheeler so in this project we are going to detect the obstacles by using the sr04 ultrasonic sensor so here so this two modules coming under the one ultrasonic sensor so one is a transmitter and another one is a receiver so whenever the transmitter transmit the ultrasonic waves so if is there any obstacle presence in front of this the surface of this obstacle will be reflect this ultrasonic waves and that will be received by this receiver module and based on the transmission time and receiving time microcontroller will calculate the distance and the estimated distance will be processed and if that particular distance is below one and a half feet then the vehicle uh, the microcontroller will stop the vehicle by controlling this electromagnetic relay so and also we are going to switch on the buzzer along with led indication so we have interface the sr04 ultrasonic sensor at b0 b1 and these two dc motors for the vehicle movement are attached to the through the relay and this relay was interfaced at the c3 pin and a buzzer connected at c4 pin so the whole system driven by this big 16f72 microcontroller so on this motherboard we can see the 17805 regulator and uh, reset switch so the reset switch purpose is to restart the microcontroller so right so whenever is a, uh, is there any like uh, malfunctioning going on if the system is not responding properly then by using this reset switch we can restart the microcontroller so we are going to provide the 12 volts input to this motherboard with the help of this four uh, three four uh, 4 volt 1 amp batteries are connected in series so we will get 12 volt 1 amp and which is rechargeable battery so this 12 volts 1 amp battery power supply parallelly given to the motherboard and through the motors parallelly seriously with electromagnetic relay and this one is the main on off switch so in order to recharge this battery so just connect the B to the B section here the T to the T transformer to transformer and B to the B so after connection made you can just switch on the transformer or supply so then there is an indication of light on this charging board so we can see that so it's green light on so it's showing the status of the battery is charging so we need to charge a battery for at least of 8 hours so after that 8 hours completed you can disconnect the charging and you can switch off the charger and on this motherboard we can see one steel plated one that is a crystal oscillator which will provide the 20 megahertz clock pulse so the main purpose of this crystal oscillator is we have provided the set of instructions to the motherboard to read the distance and based on the distance control the motors with the help of electromagnetic relay and buzzer on so these are the instructions will be executed based on the clock pulse one clock pulse one instruction so next clock pulse next instruction so like that 20 mega pulses are given per second to the microcontroller so that 20 mega instructions will be executed by the microcontroller so coming to the relay board so we are using 5 volt operated electromagnetic relay and there is a led indication you can see the it will show the status of the relay on off status and there is one diode so the diode purpose is whenever the relay is getting switch on and off then it will provide the back emf so that will be neutralized by the reverse biased connected diode and on this motherboard we can see the transistor this bc547 transistor so whenever the microcontroller trigger the transistor the transistor trigger the buzzer as well as here we are going to trigger continuously on the led indication so when we switch on the gauge the buzzer and led will be on and off two times it will show the status of microcontroller got initialized if it is not on and off two times then there is a chance of less battery voltage then we need to charge so when switch is on the switch on the kit so the system will start moving so the obstacle is placed and it stops, stops moving automatically right